welcome. Not my home, it's the Chio Dream Home. Hi, I'm Tanya Collins. I'm the designer of the home. Come on in for a tour. The Chio Dream Home this year is inspired by the Houseman style Paris apartment. So you will see the neoclassical fireplace mantle and all of the applied wall moldings and herringbone floors to really reinforce that aesthetic. Um, in the original layout, this was a formal living and dining room, but I chose to make it a grand uh, dining room. And you'll see the juxtaposition of the classical elements with the very modern elements with the light fixture, the beautiful Canadel uh, dining chairs wrapped in a beautiful blush velvet, as well as the light, light oak uh, toned uh, dining room table. I purposely put these really grand arches in to give it a really European aesthetic. And so it has a nice flow through from the dining room to the kitchen and living space at the back. Come on in. Here you see the eat-in kitchen, as well as the beautiful uh, kitchen space here. Beautiful blush tone drapery to reinforce the chairs in the dining room. And you'll see the beautiful Decton by Constantino that is wrapped on the counter up onto the backsplash and onto the shelf. It's a really custom look and it really elevates the kitchen space. All of the appliances are integrated. You'll see the fridge is tucked behind these uh, cabinet doors and all of the millwork has beautiful applied moldings and inset frame. In the living room, we have the beautiful furniture from Lazy Boy. These, this is the Alexandria sofa and you know Lazy Boy, it's comfortable. So here I've got this one wrapped in mustard, this mustard tone, as well as the other Alexandria sofa is wrapped in a, a neutral oyster color. Come on down to the basement. So we've now entered the basement space and you'll see the herringbone floor still run through from the main floor and you enter this really cute uh, lounging space, great place to spend time with the family, playing board games, having a snack, before you enter into this very grand media room that has the big screen TV and the amazing sectional, the Paxton sectional from Lazy Boy. Don't you just want to hang out in here and watch a movie. The last space in the basement is the gym. Come on in. I think I need to do a workout, do you? <laughs> no, you actually have the treadmill in here, the bike, and this Inspire multi-gym uh, system. Let's go upstairs. And as you enter the second floor, we made the conscious decision to remove the doors so that we could really maximize the view out. And bringing in glass doors with the mullion pattern really gives it that European flair. Come on in. So this space is really spectacular because it's really a flex space. And you could really see family, maybe the children doing homework in here. They can watch a show, work at the table, lounge on the chair. Great place for kids to hang out with their friends. This fabulous banquet in the lounge space is from Kincaid from Lazy Boy. And we've wrapped it in this really luxurious green velvet. And it's really wonderful for hiding stains and great place to hang out to do your homework. Before we enter the primary suite, you have to notice all of the exquisite lighting throughout the house. You'll see these beautiful sconces upon entry and it doesn't stop there. Come on into the primary suite.
The wall color in here reinforces the blush tones that you'll see on the main floor in the upholstery in the Canadel chairs and in the drapery in the living space. Bed is from Kincaid and uh, the rugs are from Surya. Uh, a lot of interesting textures. It really makes for a curated look. Can't forget about the primary suite. It is so large that we were able to include the tub and enclose it in the walk-in shower. It could actually even be like a steam room because it's so enclosed with the glass. And then we of course have the water closet around the corner for privacy and a custom furniture style vanity with the distressed wood mirrors to really reinforce that houseman style Parisian look. This cute little room is the nursery. Come on in. The palette is a lot more playful than in the other spaces. So you will see, you know, the blue and the uh, orange tones running through here. This leads you to a Jack and Jill bathroom with this blue vanity and these beautiful light fixtures. Again, a little bit playful because it's sort of I've got the flower detail in here and it all makes for a very soothing, restful bathroom. We're here in the bedroom that shares the Jack and Jill bathroom with the nursery. And so again, this is set up to be another kid's room, a little bit more playful in the color palette. It's very fresh and you'll note these door colors. This is like sort of a French blue. It's chalky blue by Dulux. And it's sort of fun to bring some color in when the walls are very neutral. This is my Emily in Paris bedroom. Come on in, you'll see the checkered headboard as well as this cute little red Nolita chair from Lazy Boy. The checkered bed is really fun and it comes from Kincaid's bedding collection. And all of the linens are done by Sweet Dreams. Who one wouldn't want their garage to be decked out like this? Home Depot has generously donated the, all of the cabinetry through the garage here with all of the storage for all, any kind of tool that you would ever want. This powder room is pretty dramatic with its 12 foot high ceilings. Come on in and have a look. You'll see the tin ceiling at the top and it's really wrapped in a really rich, dark, dark green color. Here we're in the entranceway and wow, does it ever set the tone for our houseman style Parisian interior. This overscale mirror from Lazy Boy via Renwell really is a showstopper with its grandeur. And I've, I've actually accented it with this bistro style sconce lighting and a mid-century modern bench. So there's definitely a tension in the design, mixing very classical elements with modern mid-century elements. And of course the floor has a very European flavor. The office is perhaps one of my favorite spaces. It really feels like we're in, in a Parisian, European uh, office space. Beautiful cabinetry from Urpinia, walnut toned with the black glass framed cabinets and all the books have been generously donated by Black Squirrel Books. And of course the lighting, who can't forget about the lighting. Uh, Tanya Collins design is a big believer in statement lighting and you'll see that going throughout the house. This chair is from Canadel and it's beautifully accents the velvet and the black detailing in here with this green velvet upholstery. Thanks for taking a tour of the Minto Dream Home for the Chio Dream of a Lifetime Lottery. Get your tickets at dreamofalifetime.ca.